Ready. Hey guys, it's Sandy Missouri from DIY Balloon Art, Balloon Utopia, and Market with Balloons. And we have a really special treat for you guys. I have my good friend here, Ken Stillman from Balloon Click, and he's going to share some amazing designs with us. So get ready to be wowed. And if you guys want more, afterwards, after you, you know, go to DIYBalloonArt.com, then go on over to BalloonClick.com. Yeah. Ken, say hi. <laughs> Hi, uh, this is a special honor for me uh, that Sandy would have me uh, come share a spot with her at YouTube, so I'm pretty blessed. It's very special for me too because Ken was on the set of my very first video back in the days of VHS, my mm. crazy hat video. Mm. So this is great to have him back and enjoy. All right. All right, <clears throat> today we're going to work on a uh, giant princess, and uh, we're going to be working with these uh, big 646 inch balloons. Uh, there's two sizes that you need to know about. One is uh, 38, and the other is 42. The balloons must be fully inflated. Uh, you don't want to leave a nipple at the end. They want to be fully inflated, and then after they're fully inflated, you squeeze a little air out of the uh, nozzle end until it's the size that you need. The white will be 38, and the blue will be 42. There's four inches dif di difference because we're going to have a bubble. Uh, we're going to have a little bubble between both of them. Okay, we're going to go right into it because I've already inflated. We you need six each of them, okay? So here I have six of each. I've tied two of them together. So we got one, two, three. And all we're gonna do is you're gonna take them and uh, bring them together, cross them over, and twist them just like that. You're gonna bring the next one over uh, split it in two, so you have two on the top, two on the bottom, bring it through, and then twist it. Looks like a jack, you can keep that on your stage. Now, what we'll be doing is, I'll be doing the same thing with the whites, twist them around, and then um, two on the top, two on the bottom, bring them in and twist them around. <clears throat> now you'll have another uh, balloon inflated and it, it's not critical how how big it is uh, because we're only going to use a very small portion of that but what you want to do is kind of squeeze the air down make a bubble like that that's all you need and then we're going to attach that to the center of our uh, jack here that we've created and we're just going to bring that in and around and I did three on the top three on the bottom when you get finished, you should have something that looks like the spokes of a uh, wagon wheel. So you'll have this look here. Okay? Now, this is where that four inches comes in, the difference, because uh, the blue is actually going to go over the top of the white. I'm going to squeeze the air down towards the end. I'm going to make that four inch bubble that we talked about, and that's the, the distance between. And I'm going to take the blue, and again, taking three on the top, three on the bottom, just bring it in, wrap it completely around, and bring that up to the top. Now, you should have these, this spoke look. Okay, now we're going to make the, uh, the hem of the dress. Uh, the hem of the dress is going to be made from a, a six inch uh, link balloon. You just fully inflate it and tie it. And you'll want to tie end to end, you'll want to tie uh, 12 of these. That's the magic number. I've tied 12 of them together here. And I'm just going to create a circle by tying them end to end after I've inflated 12 and tied them together. That's it. So now what we want to do is we want to take the smaller the smaller ones first, the ones that are 38. 
and you want to squeeze and you want to make a perfect circle if you can or a perfect ball and you want to attach that just like that you want to over and wrap it over one full turn and then quit and then every other every other space so we'll skip this one and we'll go to this one size every time. You don't want a bunch of different sizes on there. I'm going to put that on that side. And uh, so you just want to go to the next one. And then this is, these are big balloons. <laughs> I'm getting around it. But again, the, the sizing is everything. So up with it kind of messed up in the in the center. What you want to do is, is pull that out again so that you have equal equal space. Uh, I like to I like to look into the end of the balloon and make sure that this is all all feels well. So I'm gonna look in from my side. I showed you right there. Yeah. And that's and, and it should look like that and that should be good. Now what we're going to do is continue on, do the same exact thing. You want to make these bubbles the same size as the others. And then they fit every other one, just like that. That's the first time that's ever happened again. Blue one. If I could only climb walls. Very good. Okay. Uh, I hate it when that happens. <laughs> Anyhow, at this point, what I would do is uh, we'll just deflate this top balloon. another uh, I'm tying it around so that uh, I've looped it through rather than just tie it on the top and the reason is is I want that tension on there to get a, a, a good feel so done, just kind of press it down like this so that it all, it takes, uh, it all goes into its place and it also makes this so that it's flat and, and, and uh, makes it so it's, it's stable. I'm going to get, okay, now we're going to work on the bodice and uh, I'm going to take a 16 inch uh, balloon and a 15 inch heart to make the bodice. 
uh, I'm using these uh, small rubber balls. They look like about a half inch, maybe uh, three eighths. Uh, Sandy will have the uh, URL where you can get them. Uh, anyhow, um, I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is take, take the two balls and place them inside the 16 inch balloon. This is because they don't make a 16 inch heart. So we have to be creative and come up with a way to create a heart uh, using a 16 inch balloon and a 15 inch heart. I'm going to take the 15 inch heart, I'm going to fold it up like this and I'm going to stick it into the nozzle of the 16 inch balloon. Just put it right down in the bottom. And then I'm going to uh, mouth inflate, you could use a pump, um, yeah, maybe I'll use a pump. That one. So I'm going to mouth inflate this. Would you rather me use that? Okay, now I got to do it all over again. Cut. <laughs> uh, Sandy, you have to fix this mess. <clears throat> One, two, three. Okay, so I'm going to take a pump, stick it inside the heart balloon. And the uh, round 16 inch will take on the shape of the heart. What you want to do though is you don't want to tie the blue in with the white. You just want to tie the heart. That's all. That's all. That's all you need to do. It would be too tough if you did it the other way. Plus, I may have to blow some air in there to get these uh, balls where I want them. I want the balls at the sides where the arms are going to be attached. So all I do is I'll take that and I'll roll it between my finger and my thumb till I get it to the position I want on that side. And then I'll t take and do the same thing on the other side, roll it into position. So now you've got, you've got the position uh, where the arms are going to be attached. All right, now we're going to take the arms and we're going to attach them to the bodice. What we want to do is you just want to pull up and out on that ball and twist it. And then take the uh, arm, uh, a blush 350, and wrap it around the ball just like that. And then once you get done, go ahead and squeeze. I've left some inf uninflated here. Squeeze some of the air down and then just make a small soft bubble. And we're going to do a pinch twist at this point. I'm just going to bring it back and twist this. This will become the shoulder. Okay? We're going to do the same to the other side. We're going to pull that out and twist it. And we're going to add the uh, blush arm or the blush 350. And we're just going to wrap that around once, twice, three times. And then we're going to lock it in by uh, making a soft bubble and then uh, pinch twisting it to become the shoulder. Okay? Now we're going to cross the arms across the top of the neck. Okay? We're going to take this arm and take it this way and this arm and take it this way. So we're going to come across, going to squeeze a little air out, around the shoulder blade and back and do the same thing here, just like that. So now you've got the shoulder blade, you've got the arms. We can go ahead and attach the, um, the bodice to the dress at this point. Just take the uninflated uh, 646, wrap that around and tie it. And then cut off the uh, excess. All right, so we don't need that. All right, so we have the arms. And uh, we're going to give her gloves, so we really don't need this much arm. I'm going to come down here about four inches, a hand span, maybe five, five fingers, a full hand there. 
I'm going to push that off and then deflate it. Actually, I'm only going to make it four. I want it. I want those gloves to go up here. Okay, that's it. You want to match the other side the best you can. Um, so. Like that. And then we'll add the glove color, which is just a white uh, 350 at this point. I'm going to bring my balloons in. I'll be, yeah, it'd be kind of messy, but you'll, you're going to love it. Okay. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to work on our collar. Okay, so I'm going to take, uh, I fully inflated a 350. I've even stretched it because I want to make sure it wraps completely around and makes, makes it to the other side. So I think this is the way it's going to work. I'm going to go ahead and just a bubble here and a bubble here. We'll see how that fits. Whoa. Yeah, it needs to be a little tight. So you need to keep working with this until you get it uh, exact. And I'm, I'm kind of a perfectionist, so it's, it's got to go over the top of there and keep it pretty tight. Okay, that looks, that looks like it. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to deflate it, and I'm going to take this and deflate it and tie it. Actually, we're going to put a little tie in the front of her uh, bodice, so I'm going, to, I'm going to leave the split here. You don't have to. You can put the tie in the back if you want, but I'm just going to, for her, I'm going to do it there. Okay, now what we need to do now is we need to make her belt, her uh, or sash, whatever. Uh, what you want to do is take a 350, squeeze the air out of it, let it back in, let it rush back in, and it'll give you this V effect. This is to give the uh, uh, hourglass look to your princess. Then uh, make it, squeeze them while it's while it's like this. Go ahead and, and squeeze the air out of out of that, so it looks like some handlebars. We're going to bring that around her waist. We're going to place it right in between these two glues. We're going to bring it in there as tight as we can. And then, I'm going to tie that in there in the back, in the, in the center here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to deflate that. Now, don't just tie this uh, to this or it'll unravel on you. So take that one piece and put it underneath. Bring it up so that when, when you uh, pop the other piece and you tie it, it's going to be tight. And that's it. Okay, now what we want to do is go ahead and add her gloves and we're just going to add it right to the arm. We're just going to take this white balloon, white 350, and tie it to this arm. And you're going to take a white 350 and add it to the other arm. Okay. So we're going to clean this up. upper sleeve or the cuff. Okay, now we're going to work on the, uh, the cuff or uh, the top of the uh, glove. I'm going to go ahead and twist a bubble here, bring it around, twist that there. Now I'm going to pop this, keep this inflated while holding on to this. I'm going to bring this, this part of the balloon up underneath so that when I pop this, I can just tie that. Let's see. 
see, just like that. Now you want to make these the same size on each side, and that's uh, that's critical. So uh, I'm going to use that piece, and I'm just going to duplicate the same thing I did over there. that look. Okay, now let's go ahead and we'll, we'll take some, uh, we'll take a 160 and we'll start off with like a, a five inch, five inch bubble and then a, a loop twist. And then we'll do another loop twist the same size. And then we'll do a pinch twist, and this will be the center of the bow, or the tie. And uh, then we'll bring that down, and we'll try to match the, uh, this, this side of the bow with the other. And so, to clean your uh, princess up in the front, this here, I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to cut this a little close. Don't cut it so close to the knot that it'll unravel. Uh, but you do need it kind of kind of clean. Now what I'm going to do is I've got this these two loop twists and these here. I'm just going to take it down the front of the uh, collar here and place this over the front and let this come down under like that. So now there's a there's a tie on there. Okay, and that kind of cleans up the front and the back. And you can do the same thing with the sleeves. Just by duplicating what I did, you can do the same thing. I'm not going to show you because I think you can figure it out. But what I do want to do is we want to make a bow on the back that looks kind of like a bow tie. And what I've done is I've taken two uh, five-inch hearts and I've tied them together, okay? Now, I'm going to do the exact same thing as we did on the front. The only thing is larger proportions. The scale is a little bit different. So you're going to make that about that long. And then all we want to do for the uh, bow is to wrap around the five inch. Now you don't want you don't want to uh, twist it into the into the twist here. You, ha you have to see that the the hearts are not attached to this place at this point here. Now we can do the same exact thing. Just take actually you could probably just pull one of them down. Just like that. attach that. I'm, I'm going to uh, turn it around towards me, but all I'm going to do is I'm going to make this here the same size as this here. And so now she has a bow. She has a bow for her satch. Okay, so that cleans that up. So we got everything pretty well cleaned up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to make some elbows. I'm going to squeeze. Uh, I'm going to come down about two inches, squeeze. I'm going to squeeze the air out, let it rush back in, and that will create this bend look. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay. So now we've got that look. I'm going to uh, measure her forearm. Uh, a little shorter than mine, and then I'm going to tie those together like that. And these will be her hands. Now you can, I'm just going to make two loop twists. And you can have her holding a bouquet of uh, flowers or uh, I don't know, a purse or something, an apple, depending on 
depending on which princess you're making. Okay, so then I would tie those together just so that they don't deflate, and then I'd clean that up. So there you have her gloves. Now we're going to work on her head, which you would think is probably difficult, but it's not too bad. Um, I've inflated a, a six, uh, 46 blush uh, balloon. Uh, it's 10 inches in length, and it's, it's soft. I burped it a little bit so that it's soft. And you don't need the end of this anymore because we're not going to use it to attach it to the, to the body. So that's all you need. 10 inches is it right there. OK, now her hair is going to be made of four uh, 360s, or 350s. And uh, you can use 360s, either or. But uh, these should be 12 inches. And so I'm going to go here. That's 9. That's 12. So you want to make all four balloons 12 inches. Wrap those around and lock them. I'm putting it through so that those don't come undone while I'm working on it. Okay, so now you want to match the other side. Bring those down so that they're 12 inches. And it just has to be close. And you want to twist those around. So it looks like you got a bunch of bananas here. Now, then we're going to do one other thing. We're going to take we're going to take two two more ends, and we're going to take those off at 12 inches, and then we're going to bring them up to the top. And this, what I do instead of trying to twist those in there, I'm just going to push the the ends of the balloon inside, and then I'm going to bring this forward like this. So you've got a cluster of bananas. Now, the, the longer balloons at the top, those are going to be her bangs, while the shorter ones are going to tie her head on to the, to the body. So what we've done is we've created a cavity here actually like a wig, if you will. And we're going to place the head of the princess right into the wig. Okay? We're going to make sure the uh, long ones are at the top. Okay, now we want to twist a small bubble for her neck. Very small bubble for her neck. Okay? And we don't want to twist this bubble into this position, and that's what eh, a lot of people have done in the past. But I wanted to get away from that because it actually rocks the head forward and makes it look terrible. So anyhow, you want some distance between the neck and the back of the hair. So I'm going to take this balloon. I've, I've twisted this multiple times because I don't want any air escaping from here into the head. So I'm going to wrap that around, and I don't want it escaping uh, either from this. So I'm going to take that, wrap it around here, and then I'm going to ditch it in the back. Now, if you want to add length to her hair, you can leave a little bubble here, I'm gonna, and, and you can make a pinch twist, and then you can add uh, like uh, a braid or whatever. But this princess isn't going to have that. I'm just going to twist a small bubble so that I can ditch it in the back of the head without it showing up. So there's the small bubble. And then I'm going to take it and ditch it. Now we've got this look for the front of the princess. 
And what we want to do is we want to, these are her bangs, so we're going to bring these down into the front, and we're going to squeeze. Squeeze that in there. And we're going to wrap it around, and we're going to tie it in the back. this with you'll hide this with a, a flower or something like that on the back of the hair some type of ornament so anyhow here's your princess and then uh, bring that all right so then her head just fits on here just like that now there's nothing to keep her head from rocking back and forth, but you can take a, uh, a series of bubbles and I'm going to guess uh, I want about eight or nine of these things. Let's see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do one more. And then after you make a series of bubbles, we'll put a pearl necklace on it. Let me go ahead and take this off. Oops. Quit while you're ahead. No. <laughs> Bad joke. Okay, so this will be tied in here. Now, uh, if I were uh, working an outside venue, I would take a blush uh, balloon. Oops, I don't like that look. I would take a blush balloon and tie it from the shoulder up to the neck, around the neck, and back down. Because I have been outdoors and the heads go flying. So anyhow, there's your princess. And I'll die. Okay, uh, we've made a heart here, and we can just place that into her hands. Uh, again, you could use uh, uh, you could use uh, uh, flowers or whatever, but. Uh, that's kind of cute. So, so there we go.